Hello and welcome to this episode of Dread Captures, the ultimate destination for those who seek the thrill of witnessing the unexplained. In this episode, we take a look at multiple Bigfoot sightings, as well as disturbing images from what many are calling the Western Maryland Werewolf. We will also dive into the beautiful, yet unforgiving reality of life in the wilderness. So sit back, buckle up, and let's get into the captures. Okay, folks, this video right here is why I will never be able to be convinced there is a scarier animal living today than an alligator. Look at this. When alligators capture bigger prey, they do what we recognize known as the death roll. It separates it into smaller, easier to handle chunks. If the prey is too big to eat all at once, the alligator might keep it underwater, a practice known as caching. This process allows the prey to decompose and become softer, making it simpler to break apart and consume later on. On the other hand, if this deer was alive when the alligator snatched it, then of course he would likely attempt to drown it first, killing two birds with one stone as that would ensure the prey couldn't escape and cause its death. A dead deer puts up less resistance than a living one. Ay ay ay. The elusive Bigfoot and its brethren, the Sasquatch, have a notorious reputation for dodging camera lenses. Yet, against their elusive nature, we've managed to secure an intriguing image from a trail camera. Feast your eyes upon the fuzzy figure of what appears to be a white, ape-like creature. Now, can anyone guess where this clip might have come from? Some crazy Bigfoot enthusiast? A man holed away in the woods? A person playing a hoax? Nope. This image was obtained straight from the official website of the city of Portland. Portland, Oregon. However, the plot thickens. The city authorities, in an unexpected move, have withheld the precise location of this captivating Bigfoot encounter. The motivation behind this secrecy? Most likely to safeguard the elusive creature. But the question lingers. Could a Bigfoot truly be lurking in our midst, or is this a cunning ploy to draw curious visitors to Portland? On another note, is there something about this mysterious creature that makes capturing a clear image impossible, or is this something else at play? However, I must admit, despite the blur, the footage is remarkably clear and the city's decision to publish it raises many, many, many questions. Let me know what you guys think about this clip. Have you seen it before? When I first saw this video, I was surprised. Lynx are not usually aggressive towards humans, unless they have to be, but we all know every animal can act in unexpected ways. Thankfully, the man in the truck had his window up, and the poster said that the closed window might have been the reason the lynx attacked, that the lynx saw a reflection in the glass and responded to it. Since the reflection is quite low, it probably wasn't the lynx's own reflection, but perhaps another one, possibly the man's. Also, there's some strong language in this video, so I didn't include the original sound. However, you can hear loud calls from a prey animal in distress. According to one commenter, he said the calls were coming from inside the truck and that the man was playing them over a recorder trying to attract the lynx. Let me know if you've heard of anything like this. You can find it on the IG channel, Nature is Metal. In the remote, lush expanses of western Maryland, a chilling tale emerged from the dense forest, its cloak of anonymity as obscure as its protagonist. A man, who wished to stay unnamed, captured a few bewildering images that have since set the corners of the internet ablaze. The pictures were not just of any animal. They portrayed a creature with jet black fur, eerily luminescent yellow eyes, a beast hauntingly reminiscent of a wolf. Yet, this was no ordinary wolf. Each picture depicted the creature in broad daylight, a quirk at odds with the nocturnal nature of these predators. The creature's posture was purely canine, comfortably resting on all fours, its lean, muscled body radiating a primal power that was chilling and captivating all at once. 
However, it was the mysterious transformation of this creature under the blanket of darkness that elicited a visceral thrill of both fear and fascination. As the moon claimed dominion over the star-studded sky, the man reported that the wolf underwent a terrifying metamorphosis. It morphed into a bipedal creature, a towering apparition straight out of a werewolf legend. He noticed that the hair on the beast's legs seemed matted and appeared to be shedding off, giving it an even more terrifying and grotesque appearance. Our submitter shared that the wolf hadn't initially appeared in such a disheveled state. Yet, each time the creature underwent its nightly transformation, the fur on its legs seemed to dislodge, painting an eerie picture of shedding and rebirth of a beast that walked the line between the realms of the natural and the supernatural. Understandably, the man's initial reaction was shock, perhaps even disbelief. Can't blame him for that. It's not every day you encounter what appears to be a legendary creature from folklore in your backyard. He grappled with questions that seemed to have no rational answers. Could it be true? The man goes on to say he doesn't believe in any of this stuff. Was this creature, this awe-inspiring, terrifying being, proof of a werewolf's existence? Or was there another explanation? These perplexing questions remain unsolved, leaving the man, and us, in a world when of fascination, speculation, and fear. The story of the Western Maryland werewolf, captured in daylight yet transformed under the moon, challenges our comprehension of the world. Whether a true werewolf or a biological anomaly, the creature, with its black fur, yellow eyes, and nightly transformation, remains a spine-chilling puzzle. Please, please let me know what you guys think of this submission. There is definitely something creepy going on with this wolf. In the video clip you're about to watch, a group known by the moniker Rocky Mountain Sasquatch, or RMS for short, is featured. With a dedicated YouTube channel teeming with evidence of the legendary Bigfoot, RMS curates intriguing content based on photo and video submissions from all corners of the globe. The focus of this clip today is one specific submission that landed in RMS's inbox on the 1st of March, 2023. The sender, a man named Brian S., captured an image in an unexpected location, the Georgetown Loop Railroad, nestled in the heart of Clear Creek County, Colorado. In a moment, you'll see the photo Brian submitted, but here's what he had to say. During a train ride in Georgetown County last September, I snapped a few pictures. Only upon revisiting these photos did I spot a peculiar figure. To my eyes, it bore an uncanny resemblance to a Sasquatch. My initial thought was perhaps the railway staff had placed a statue there as a playful jest. Yet, when I scoured the internet for similar images, I found none. Surely, if it was a mere statue, other travelers would have documented it also. Plus, wouldn't the train conductors have announced its presence or playfully alluded to it? It is my firm belief that the figure in my photo isn't a mere trick or a statue. Brian's picture does indeed show an impressively tall figure bearing a striking resemblance to Bigfoot. Could this be a mere fabrication? A playfully constructed hoax? Or did Brian unintentionally capture one of the clearest images of Bigfoot to date? As we delve deeper into this mystery, the truth remains shrouded in suspense and uncertainty. Let me know what you guys think. I admit, I would have to do a double take if I saw these turkeys pop up on my trail camera. And I'd probably be a little startled. However, the sight of these birds, their feathers a ghostly white, definitely has a certain captivating charm. A blend of uniqueness and beauty about them. One day, a man unexpectedly caught a gathering of these white turkeys, who appeared to just be feeding and roaming through the woods. He said he had never seen them before and weren't sure where they came from. Funny enough, one commenter was adamant that these turkeys were otherworldly and that no one should go near them as they can transfer some sort of illness or something. I don't know about all that. The scientific community suggests a more grounded explanation for this phenomenon. Basically, it's an unusual mutation known as leucism, 
a condition which results in decreased pigmentation. This genetic quirk leads to the appearance of white or sporadically colored feathers in birds. This logical, science-backed explanation does offer some reassurance. However, liking the creepy as much as the next guy, a part of me kind of wishes these turkeys were more paranormal or unexplainable, mystical. Anyhow, what about you guys? Have you ever had an encounter with any turkeys that look like this? This next clip is a seemingly harmless image shared on the internet by an adventurer. To an untrained eye, it might appear as just another vacation picture, a casual memento of a journey. But upon closer look, a shiver-inducing detail emerges. Can you see it? Behind the man in the picture, there lurks a figure, an individual that closely resembles an ape. As one might expect, the image stirred up quite a storm of speculation. People pointed out to the man the unusual figure caught unexpectedly in his picture, and he revealed that the photograph was taken in the Piranha Delta region. Interestingly enough, the locals have tales of elusive white creatures that supposedly inhabit these parts. They are as much a part of the landscape as they are mysterious. This newfound revelation sparked a frenzy among Bigfoot enthusiasts. The question on everyone's mind, could the elusive creature have made this area its home? Most discussions around Bigfoot typically revolve around its sightings in North America, with South America often being overlooked. However, as it appears, that could be a grave oversight. If you look back through history, there's compelling evidence that suggests the presence of Bigfoot-like entities in South America. Early settlers and explorers of this region reported encounters with giant, hairy humanoid creatures, so much so that they even named some of their towns in memory of these enigmatic beings. Take for instance Patagonia, a region not too distant from where this photo was taken. Here, accounts of such creatures like Lee Bigfoot are quite prevalent. But the real question remains, is this figure in this photograph truly Bigfoot? Or could it be something else entirely? What do you believe? In the spring of 2013, a fox couple captured the attention of visitors in the northern part of the Yellowstone National Park when they decided to build their den right above the site. Two kits, or baby foxes, emerged on May 23rd, instantly making this fox family local celebrities. While the male fox was efficient in hunting, mostly targeting ground squirrels, the vixen vigilantly looked after their two offspring in the den. For nine days, park visitors observed this fox family's life, witnessing the kits play, feed, and their parents' care and affection. The mama fox was constantly on the lookout for threats, particularly from a crazy raven known to steal their food. However, on the ninth day, the raven would be the least of their problems. A badger showed up in the area. He eventually entered their den, which led to a fierce battle between it and the mama fox. After a tough fight, the badger managed to invade the den, causing everyone panic as it was assumed to have attacked and killed one of the kits. But in a surprising turn of events, the kits reemerged unhurt and it was realized that the badger had actually been eating their stored ground squirrels, not the babies. Mother Fox continued her battle with the badger and tried and tried and tried to remove him from the den, but eventually was unsuccessful. So she just packed everyone up, dug a new den, and moved the kits in there safely. As the days went by and the fox's lives returned back to normal, the badger still hung around the area. The mother and father fox were both on high alert. However, one day, under one of the vixen's rare absences, the badger found the new den, which only had one exit, unlike the old one. Upon her return, it dawned on Mama Fox what might have happened. The badger had entered the den, and she fought and fought to remove him, but it was too late. Unfortunately, the fox kits had been killed. The badger eventually left the area 
and the Fox parents visited the site a few times before leaving for good. This intimate sight into the life of the Fox family left a lasting impression on the spectators at Yellowstone. This next piece of footage doesn't hail from a trail camera, but it's every bit as interesting as any wilderness encounter. Picture this. Dawn breaks and a family awakens to a scene of chaos. Their yard awash with scattered debris and remnants of the previous night. This puzzling discovery prompted a hasty investigation of their security camera footage. The revelation was nothing short of astonishing. At the initial scan, the intruder appeared to be a common wild beast, perhaps a bear. But as they watched the footage more intently, they found quite the surprise. A creature, eerily wolf-like, yet bearing an uncanny resemblance to a human form, was seen slipping away from their neighbor's premises. What made this encounter even more spine-chilling was the lunar cycle. It had been a full moon the previous night. This had the family wondering if they could be possibly living next to an authentic werewolf. The family was left in uncertainty, but they chose to share the footage online in hopes of gathering some more information. In hindsight, this may not have been the wisest course of action. People pointed out that if you really were in fact living next to a werewolf and or your neighbors knew about it, they might not be happy that you posted this clip. A few months ago, we covered this animal at length. Well, we recently acquired footage of what is known to be the vampire deer. At first glance, this animal may look like an unlikely hybrid of a deer and a vampire due to its large protruding front teeth. Despite its intimidating appearance, this animal is in fact a perfectly healthy specimen of a species known as the Chinese water deer. Don't be fooled by its somewhat monstrous facade. These creatures are entirely normal within their species. Their remarkable tusk-like front teeth, which could easily be mistaken for vampire fangs, are a distinctive characteristic common to all Chinese water deer. Native to China and Korea, the Chinese water deer is a small herbivorous mammal often found inhabiting wetlands and grasses near lakes and rivers. Though smaller in size than average deer, their fangs certainly pack a punch. As to why evolution favored the development of fangs over antlers in these creatures remains a mystery. They are also protected in their home countries, hunting them is strictly prohibited. But capturing these elusive vampire deer on a trail camera is actually incredibly rare. They are very elusive, and their preference for habitats are far from human interaction. Nevertheless, it's awesome to see the diverse and peculiar species that share our world. The Alibi, also known as the Central Asian Shepherd Dog, is one of the oldest dog breeds. Its origins trace back to regions in Central Asia, specifically areas around Turkmenistan and Kazakhstan. It is said that this breed has existed for over 4,000 years. They are primarily used as livestock guardians, using their considerable size, strength, and courageous disposition to protect sheep from predators such as wolves and bears. Physically, alibis are large, robust, and muscular. They can weigh anywhere from 80 to 220 pounds, depending on the sex. Despite their formidable appearance and guarding capabilities, alibis are known for their calm, balanced, and independent nature, demonstrating loyalty and protective instinct towards their families. Like many livestock guardian dogs, they were bred to deter predators. Their main role isn't necessarily to fight these large predators, but to act as a deterrent. They use their bark and aggressive posture to make predators think twice before approaching. They rely more on courage, their protective instinct, and intimidation tactics rather than their physical power to do their job. The Kangal is another breed of livestock guardian dog, which originates from Turkey, known for its impressive size, strength, speed, and protective instincts. The Kangal are regarded as one of the strongest and toughest breeds in terms of their ability to perform the task for which they were bred, protecting livestock from large predators like wolves and bears. 
Physically, Kangals are very powerful. They are large, muscular dogs with a broad head and strong jaws. Despite their size, they can reach speeds up to 30 miles per hour. Moreover, their bite force is one of the highest among any dog breed. It measures over 700 pounds per square inch. Their physical prowess, coupled with their protective nature, make them incredibly effective as guardian dogs. Like the Alibi, the Kangals are known for their bravery, loyalty, and independence. They are calm and controlled, but when they perceive a threat to their flock or their family, they spring into action quickly and decisively. And it doesn't usually end well for the Predator. Let me know what you think of these two Guardian livestock dogs. I added this because of the real-life footage of them in action was very impressive. A great clip here from a lady on safari in Africa. The video speaks for itself, but man, look at how strong that zebra looks. You can see the muscles bulging, it's big thick legs. It's kind of cool to see another animal escaping an apex predator. Let's watch it again. This next clip and story are crazy. This relationship begins during a jungle expedition, where a woman stumbles upon an injured python. Deciding to rescue it, she nursed it back to health, ignoring the potential legal and safety risks associated with harboring such a creature. She bought a terrarium and nourished the snake with a diet of dead mice. As time passed, she formed a deep attachment to the python even sleeping with it by her side, relishing its company and warmth. Despite its carnivorous nature, the snake seemed to display a tender affection. One day things got a little weird. The snake would watch the lady shower, but as soon as she was finished, she would dry off and they would go back to their business. One day, however, she began to worry when the python stopped eating. Concerned, she sought help from a vet specializing in wild animals. The vet then unveiled a startling truth. The python had been abstaining from food to prepare for a very sizable meal. And unfortunately, the snake's owner was on the menu. It had been sizing her up during those shared nights, sleeping next to her, stretching its stomach out waiting till it grew to a size that could handle a prey that big. To backtrack a little bit, the python had outgrown its terrarium, so it had free reign of the house. The vet dropped another bomb on her and basically said that the entire house has become the snake's terrarium and you've become its prey. Fortunately, the looming disaster was averted in time. The woman understood that the python needed to return to its natural habitat if not anywhere but inside her house. With the assistance of a non-governmental organization, she sadly bid her unique pet farewell as they reintroduced it back into the jungle. Although her heart ached from the loss, the woman found solace in knowing that her story had a safer and more natural conclusion. Yeah, you didn't die. This story is just incredible to me. I mean, these snakes are so strong, she would have no chance to get away from this thing if it locked onto her. I find it incredibly eerie that the snake was watching her in the shower, but even more so that it was sizing her up in bed, waiting to the moment that it was big enough to be able to take her down. Anyhow, I'd love to hear any more stories like this if you guys have any personal experience. I thought this was amazing. Just an absolutely incredible capture here in Africa. A couple captured the moment a gazelle ferociously swam for its life from a hungry crocodile. The bystanders are all cheering for the gazelle while the croc closes in. And just when you think it's all she wrote, the gazelle kicks up and actually catches the croc right on the chin which does just enough for the gazelle to get away. 
I mean, it really was this guy's day. Had he not swam like his life depended on it, he would have never made it to the shallow water where you see he was able to use the ground to spring up and kick the croc away from him. Man, it's cool to see when adrenaline takes over and you push your body to the limits what you can do. Just an awesome camera capture. This photograph and video captured in Texas on June 15th of 2021 shows a massive creature that bears a striking resemblance to a werewolf. This beast was reportedly brought down by a coalition of farmers and hunters. Prior to this event, the farmers had been experiencing a significant loss of their livestock daily, leading them to seek a permanent solution to their predicament. Once they successfully subdued the creature, one of the farmers managed to film the werewolf-like entity, which appeared to be gasping its last breaths. The creature was imposing, standing over seven feet tall and covered in thick hair. Its claws resembled those of a typical carnivorous wild animal, and it had unusually large, flat feet. Certainly engaging this type of enormous and powerful beast would be akin to flirting with death. While this is incredible footage and this werewolf to me looks real, it's crucial to approach these things with a degree of skepticism. It's possible the farmers encountered a large and unfamiliar animal. There's no scientific evidence that this is an actual werewolf. Misidentifications of known creatures or hoaxes are not uncommon. Many skeptics have attacked the credibility of the sources and the quality of the provided evidence. One said, and I quote, until further verifiable proof is presented, this Texas werewolf remains a fascinating tale of mystery. What say you guys? I don't know, it looks real to me. In February of 2013, several residents of a northern Oregon neighborhood reported odd sounds emanating from the surrounding forest. The auditory phenomena were described as resembling uncanny laughter, ringing loudly and reverberating throughout the vicinity of the houses. A couple teenagers, obviously intrigued by these occurrences, decide to venture outside, tracing the source of the strange noises, and they began recording. Check it out. The origin and nature of these eerie sounds spurred a fair amount of speculation among the community. A common hypothesis proposed that the noises could be attributed to foxes or coyotes, as these creatures are known to produce diverse and sometimes unusual vocalizations. However, some residents disagreed with this theory, arguing that the sounds of coyotes, for instance, would be characterized by a more canine-like shriek, and wouldn't typically reach the same volume as the noise they were hearing. Although the fox or coyote theory is plausible, there's also a possibility that the sound could be from a different animal entirely, or perhaps even a non-animal source. More naysayers said that certain bird species like owls can make a range of calls that might be mistaken for laughter, or the wind whistling through the trees or certain types of terrain. I don't know, it doesn't sound like that to me. Despite all of these assumptions, the true source of the noise that night remains uncertain. This incident serves as a reminder of the mysteries that can still be found in our natural world and the importance of approaching them with curiosity and an open mind. One chilly evening in the dense forests of Georgia, a trail camera owned by a man named Mike captured an image that sent shivers down the spines of those who saw it. The creature it caught was a nightmarish figure, something that seemed to have stepped out from the pages of a horror novel or the depths of a fever dream. The beast was on all fours, its long stringy hair matted and unruly, covering most of its body. The face was a stark contrast, bearing dry, leathery skin that crinkled around a grotesque pig-like snout. 
Two canine teeth jutted upwards from the lower jaw, giving the creature an even more menacing appearance. Its eyes were hazy and glazed over, lending it a sickly near-death aura. However, the piercing quality of those eyes suggested a level of intelligence and a haunting eeriness that made one question its mortality. Atop its head were dog-like ears, which, despite the creature's overall disarray, were sharply perked as if on alert. Mike, an avid outdoorsman and cryptid enthusiast, was both petrified and thrilled by the discovery. The image spread like wildfire among the local community, igniting fervent debates over what the creature could possibly be. Many suggested that it could be a severely malnourished and ill wild boar, given its snout and skin condition. The long, stringy hair could also be explained by a severe case of mange, a skin disease caused by parasitic mites that is known to affect wild animals. The upward-pointing canines are a feature seen in some boar species, and the creature's hazy eyes could potentially indicate an advanced stage of illness. Yet, despite these plausible explanations, Mike believes the creature to be something far more otherworldly a werewolf, dogman, or some other form of cryptid. The creature's hazy eyes and dog-like ears give it a somewhat canine appearance, a character often associated with creatures like werewolves or the elusive dogman. Mike's belief and photo was further fueled by the local lore of cryptids inhabiting the Georgian wilderness, stories passed down through generations. While skeptics have been quick to dismiss these claims, the uncanny nature of the creature's appearance, its sickly demeanor, and its presence in an area steeped in cryptid lore have fed into the air of mystery surrounding the photograph. Even for those who don't believe in cryptids, the image serves as a stark reminder of nature's ability to astonish and terrify us. Whether this ghastly figure is a creature of myth or a severely ill animal, the truth remains elusive. However, one thing is for sure, the image has added another layer to the rich tapestry of local lore and has sparked renewed interest in the mysteries that may lurk in the unexplored corners of the Georgian wilderness. Let me know what you guys think of this trail cam capture. I mean, this thing is gruesome. What in the world is this? I just, I don't even know. I think, I feel like it could be a boar. I just don't know. Let me know if you guys have any ideas. In the midst of their routine day-to-day -day activities, a couple stumbled upon a remarkably well-preserved appendage that didn't match any known creature they could identify. They thought about simply dismissing it and resuming their lives, however, curiosity ignited their imagination. Was this their moment of making a monumental discovery? They decided to document the unusual find by snapping photographs of the limb. It then popped in the woman's mind an intriguing thought. Could this relic potentially be the legendary Bigfoot's foot? However, it seemed too small to be a full-grown Bigfoot. After the photograph made its rounds on the internet, it was suggested that the mysterious limb could belong to a juvenile Bigfoot either a foot or possibly a hand. They figured there was only one way to solve this mystery. If the unidentified limb's DNA could be compared to the DNA of other Bigfoot specimens. It just so happens that a Dr. Melbur Ketchum and her group professed to have conducted DNA sequencing on a myriad of specimens such as hair and tissue reportedly obtained from unidentified hominin species, popularly known as Bigfoot. The couple has been in touch with Dr. Ketchum's team, but no definitive answers have come out. Could this be the breakthrough moment to unravel the Bigfoot mystery once and for all? What do you guys think of these photographs? Just an incredible camera capture here. I love to see these predators in action. Tigers are opportunistic carnivores, which means they will eat almost anything they can catch, including turtles. Turtles would not be a preferred meal choice due to their hard shell, and tigers would typically prefer larger, meatier prey like deer, boar, or sometimes even smaller elephants. But this guy must be hungry. I mean, this guy's fast, too. 
a fun fact is that tigers are incredibly swift and agile for their size. They can actually reach speeds up to 35 to 40 miles per hour. And unlike most cats, they are excellent swimmers and love to bathe. They can even hunt in water and often cool themselves off in ponds and streams during hot days. Which really just means you're not safe on land or in the water. At least that's what I heard. As is customary, duels between stags involve charging at each other, utilizing their antlers to strike the adversary. If the antlers are small with only a couple of tines, the likelihood of any serious hazard during these skirmishes is generally very low. However, the situation changes when the antlers are more complex, larger, and convoluted, and the probability of their entanglement increases significantly. In this case, two deer find themselves in quite a predicament. Their antlers have become intertwined, and one appears to be on the verge of dying or dead. The other deer is exerting every ounce of its strength to try to free itself from this grim entrapment. He's in big trouble if he can't get this dead weight off of him. The deer tries and tries, but it seems that the assistance of an external force may be necessary for this creature's release. It's pretty apparent that, if left to their own devices, these deer could find themselves in quite the pickle. They need some help, particularly human assistance. Without such help, escaping this unfortunate snare could prove to be a nearly impossible task for these creatures. A good example of this can be found in the case of this deer that has found itself entangled in a man-made structure. A fence, to be precise. Its struggle caught the attention of a local farmer. Fortunately, the resident took immediate action, stepping in to assist the distressed creature. The deer, penned helplessly, would have faced a bleak and potentially fatal situation. If not released, it could have suffered a slow and agonizing decline, brought on by a lack of food and water. Or worse yet, and this is tough to think about, its helpless state could have attracted unwanted attention from predators, turning it into an easy prey. But have no fear, thanks to the timely intervention of a good Samaritan, it was spared from such a cruel fate. It was saved from the brink of starving, dehydrating, and the possibility of becoming someone's meal. While it's always suggested to be careful when helping in nature, this escape underscores the importance of human intervention when certain types of wildlife are in distress. Just a great camera capture. John lived a quiet life in a remote cabin nestled deep within the woods, over 10 miles from the nearest neighbor. This place was his sanctuary, a place where he could enjoy a solitude and the natural beauty surrounding him. He had worked hard to achieve this. However, one day, this tranquility was disrupted by an unexpected appearance on his trail camera. He had set the camera up on a game trail near his property, mostly to observe the local fauna. But on that crisp autumn day, while reviewing the images, he came across something that sent chills down his spine. The figure in the frame wasn't a bear, or a wild boar, or a deer. It was a young girl. Her hair the color of sunlit wheat, dirt streaked across her face and clothes. And she had something on her face, something he couldn't make out, it looked like lines. Almost like cracked skin. The sight of her in the wild and her clearly unkempt condition was jarring. Her eyes, clear and piercing, stared straight into the camera, and they held a haunting mix of fear and defiance. She was like a ghost in the wilderness. Except she wasn't. But who was she, and how did she end up so far away from any form of civilization? With concern mounting, John decided to investigate. He felt the responsibility to find her, to ensure she was safe. Leaving his cabin, he ventured deep into the woods. He followed the same game trail, tracing the path the girl had likely taken. The forest was quiet, eerily quiet, save for the rustle of leaves underfoot and the distant calls of birds overhead. Days turned into nights and the mystery deepened. 
He discovered signs of her, footprints by a stream, discarded wrappers of food he recognized from his own supplies, and a makeshift shelter near the base of an old oak tree. It appeared she had been surviving in the woods for some time, but each clue he found only seemed to raise more questions. John couldn't help but wonder about her story. Was she lost? Had she run away? He felt a growing sense of worry and a very, very weird feeling of admiration. This girl had survived something. She was tough. Despite her situation, she had managed to survive in this untamed environment, a feat that many grown men wouldn't be able to accomplish. But being a father himself, each passing day without finding her increased his anxiety. He knew the woods could be treacherous, especially for a young girl of this age. Yet he also recognized her resourcefulness and resilience. His mind teetered between hope and dread, the haunting image from the trail camera always at the back of his mind as the days passed. As those days turned into a week, John began to question his solitary existence. In a world so vast, he felt a kinship with this mysterious girl. Maybe they were both outsiders. It seemed so, living on the periphery, separated from the rest of society, but that didn't answer his questions. The girl in the picture remained elusive, her whereabouts unknown. Still, John continued his search, driven by a newfound purpose. The woods that once provided him with solitude were now a labyrinth hiding a mystery. The mysterious young girl with the sunlit hair and resilient gaze. Where was she? While he longed for answers, John knew he was embarking on an uncertain journey. His once quiet life had been upended, replaced by a quest to ensure the safety of a stranger. Oddly, he felt more alive and connected than ever before. The woods, his refuge, had given him a purpose he didn't realize he was seeking, all through the unexpected image of a young girl on his trail camera. In this clip, we have someone filming an unidentified critter in a ditch that's slowly creeping towards them. The guy with the camera stepping back as this thing comes closer. At first look, you might be like, oh yeah, that's a bear cub considering its size and how our friend's backing off. But when the camera gets a fix on it and the creature shows us its side, we're in for a surprise. What is this thing? This creature's a weird mashup of features that you wouldn't normally see together, it seems. It's got this big old head, a tight little body covered in a thick layer of fur, and stubby limbs that look like something off a monkey-rat hybrid. It's the sort of thing that gets you wondering, what on earth are you looking at? But the real kicker is its behavior. The creature's both curious and cautious. It's like it wants to check things out, but it's also got that animal instinct telling it to be careful about the human in its space. You can see as it tries over and over to climb up the side of the ditch. Probably searching for a safer spot or just trying to get out of dodge. The tension builds as the creature keeps inching towards the cameraman. What's going on in its head? Is it hungry? Is it just curious? Does it have some deep-seated instincts to connect with people? But just as you're on the edge of your seat, the video cuts off, leaving us hanging. What was this mysterious creature that crossed paths with this cameraman? Do you guys have any ideas? I will hop in here and say this, I watched this a few times. And it wasn't till one of the last two or three times that I watched it that it kind of looks like a dog dressed up in some type of suit. I'm sure you guys know the ones I'm talking about. Sometimes they'll put a lion suit on a dog and it looks like a big lion is running at you. I don't know. Let me know what you guys see. In Oregon's deep forest, people are whispering and getting excited. From the start, it's clear we might be seeing the famous and hard to find creature we all know and love as Bigfoot. This figure, standing tall among the trees, has clear human-like features, catching our imagination with its mystery. But there's something else that really adds to this already interesting meeting. If you look closely, a surprising discovery appears. Safely riding on the Bigfoot's back, a smaller figure can be seen. This little partner, looking like a baby, holds tightly to its bigger buddy, grabbing onto its fur. The two look very similar, obviously, suggesting a family connection, if anything at all. 
Now, the idea that these amazing creatures might be Bigfoot and its child opens up many possibilities. Could these hard-to-find creatures have complex family structures and social behaviors? Like humans and other mammals, do they show parental instincts and look after their young? The presence of the baby Bigfoot adds more weight to the idea of a whole species. Could this incredible trail camera footage be the key to understanding the secrets of the elusive Bigfoot's life? We might just find the answer deep in Oregon's forests. This clip is a real head scratcher. Caught in the middle of the night, way deep in the wild, a trail cam was set up to catch some footage of the local critters. And all of his other recordings never hinted at something like this being caught on camera. The owner never saw it coming, but the camera picked up something way out of the ordinary and no one's sure what to make of it. As you watch the video, you'll see this weird figure, all dressed in white, just popping out of nowhere. But it doesn't seem to really hang around, it kind of fades back into the night just as mysteriously as it showed up. I'm at a loss, is this just a person in a white robe? What do you guys think this bizarre event is all about? Okay so check this out, we've got a couple of guys just hanging out in their boat cruising along a river. They're recording the shoreline probably for Snapchat or Instagram or something. It's super windy as you can barely understand the original audio. As the camera sweeps over the riverbank, they're expecting to catch some pretty nature shots, maybe a deer or a bird, but then boom, they spot something in the tall grass. A weird figure, all brown shaggy fur. The guy with the camera is puzzled. He even says, here's a dog. But then in the tone of his voice, he goes, what's it doing by the river? You can tell they're in the middle of nowhere and there shouldn't be a dog here. And at first glance, it does look like a dog. But then the plot thickens. This dog suddenly stands up and it's not on four legs, but two. But instantly, they're staring at a massive upright creature looking at them from the grass. The guys in the boat, their jaws drop and this creature bolts disappearing into the wilderness with an agility that's startling for its size. They are all left stunned in silence, their minds racing. Adrenaline's pumping with a mix of shock and excitement. The video ends abruptly just giving us a fleeting look at the creature. But the questions it raises are enough to send chills down your spine, I'll admit that. Could it be? Do we think they just stumbled upon Bigfoot? This video is enough to get your imagination running wild. I don't know what this could be. It's definitely bipedal and it doesn't look like any domestic dog to me. I'd love to know your thoughts. Here's another unnerving video filmed deep in the forest. Look closely at the right side of the screen. Between the small opening in the gate, you'll see a strange face. This face doesn't look normal or natural. It has a very old, non-human quality to it. However, it seems to show some human-like intelligence. It quickly notices the camera and then moves away. We're not sure what this creature is. Do you guys have any ideas? Is this some type of skinwalker? Or could this just be an elaborate hoax? I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Let me know. Driving down a deserted road, a man jams on his brakes when something odd catches his eye. Nope, I don't believe this is Bigfoot. It looks more like a wolf. At least that's what it looked like. But as we watch it again, this thing is strolling around on its hind legs. The man whips his car around and snaps a photo of what appears to be a bipedal dog or a wolf. It's hard to tell what we're looking at. Its arms are oddly thin and it has this strange gait that makes you think twice. In the ears, they were difficult to make out, but they look similar to a dog's. It looks more like a monster, to be honest. My eyes keep being drawn to the arms. What are up with these things? It looks like they're missing skin and muscle. The arm bones are clearly visible. 
it's pretty gross actually. But the rest of the body is definitely covered in a classic wolf's fur, all thick and shaggy. So what do we have going on here? Is this a wolf or some unknown cryptid that's shown itself? I've seen this video a time or two and have never heard a definitive answer as to what it is. What do you guys think? What do you make of this thing on the side of the road? A user on TikTok who absolutely loves her three dogs decided to share a bit of her life. She was just recording her dogs during their usual evening relaxation. About 30 seconds into the video, she had no idea she was about to capture one of the most unsettling videos TikTok has ever seen. Two of her three dogs were calm and relaxed, but the other one seemed uneasy, looking at something strange down a dark hallway next to their living room. After about a minute, the woman recording the video started to feel uneasy herself, and when she glanced over, she noticed something unusual in the dimly lit corridor. If you look closely, you can see a shadowy figure lurking in the darkness, partially visible through that open doorway. You can barely distinguish a figure that appears tall and human-like, half exposed. It quickly retreats into the room it was peering from, probably a bathroom, and is once again hidden in the increasingly scary darkness. The woman filming and all of her dogs are clearly frightened at this point. And once the shadowy figure moves, she yells in shock and you can practically hear her heart pounding. But the worst part of this video is that it ends abruptly, leaving us all in suspense. I have no idea why she would stop the recording. Well, I kind of have an idea, but I'm still a little bummed. Anyhow, what do you guys think of this clip? This is the second or third one of these we've seen. Are these real or are they just hoaxes? TikTok user Casey Dostert has been drawing quite a crowd with his chilling series of videos, alluding to and indicating that his ranch might be either haunted or frequented by some puzzling cryptid. Over several months, Dostert has been dishing up a regular service of strange and unexplainable incidents from his land. These freak occurrences have caused viewers to speculate about the possible involvement of a cryptid or at the very least, some other unearthly presence. A few seconds in, the first clip rolls out with the landowner Casey filming late into the night, and we can hear noises echoing from afar, almost like some creature in pain. Casey even says, they're unusually close to the house tonight, as growls of an unseen creature fill the air. These sinister sounds are like nothing they've ever heard before, and it prompts questions about their origin and nature. As he looks out from his front porch, a scared Casey says he has to reach his truck for work, but is hesitant to leave the safety of his porch given the situation. He's clearly freaked out. In this next clip, Dostert spots some movement at the far end of his property. All right, whatever you are, you need to leave. Almost immediately, two glowing orbs appear in the distance, suggesting eyes of a bipedal figure hiding out in the woods. Taking no chances, he lets off a warning shot to discourage the shadowy figure. I don't think it's going to come around for a little bit. I don't think it'll be back for a while, he says. These intriguing videos are really drumming up some questions. Is this truly a cryptid, or is there a more mundane explanation behind these spooky sightings? Some practical viewers propose the mysterious figure might just be a misidentified animal, or perhaps even a practical joke. On the other hand, many others are firm believers that the ranch is, in fact, the chosen haunt of a cryptid. Just out of sight, like usual. As we draw to a close, I want to ask you guys, what are your thoughts on this peculiar footage? I look forward to reading them in the comments. TikTok user WV Paranormal shared a series of bone chilling clips in August of 2021, recorded during a seemingly normal family day out in the backyard. What was an ordinary day turned eerie when the family was out and about playing and tending to their garden. As the clip rolls, we hear the mom call her kids in for a bath. Suddenly, she feels a strange sensation, 
as if she's being watched, and swiftly turns her camera toward a cluster of trees. Now brace yourself for what she captures. It might take a moment for you to spot it, but look carefully. There seems to be a figure lurking amongst the trees, seemingly watching the children playing. The following day, the mother has a chilling encounter with the figure yet again. Oh my God, nobody is gonna ever believe this. All right, we're going, we're going back inside. Amidst the sound of her baby crying, she decides it's time to head back indoors. The same towering, bizarre figure is now visibly standing right behind a shed. Its face appearing oddly featureless and gray. It peeks its head out. The family is left baffled, but mostly disturbed. What is going on? Is this an intruder spying on her children? Or is this really some mysterious cryptid or creature or misidentified animal? Tell me what you guys would do in this situation. Especially if you spotted someone creeping around your family from afar. Let me know. I know what mine would be. In the small town of Brooksville, nestled within the verdant heart of Florida, lived a man by the name of Earl Anderson. Earl was an experienced hunter, known for his patience and keen eye. He had a reputation as a storyteller, sharing tales of his adventures through the sprawling Floridian wilderness. But on an oppressively humid day in July, Earl stumbled upon something that changed his stories forever, and perhaps the tales of this town itself. Late in the evening, after the sultry heat had begun to cool, Earl set out to check his trail cameras nestled deep in the Withlacoochee forest. As he hiked through the damp undergrowth, the chorus of cicadas was deafening. He felt a strange uneasiness creeping up his spine a feeling he had never experienced in these familiar woods. Upon reaching his trail camera, he immediately noticed something amiss. The camera, usually facing the trail, was askew, pointing haphazardly into the brush. Curiosity peaked, Earl adjusted the camera and retrieved the memory card, anxious to see what had happened. Back at his modest cabin, Earl sat down at his aging desktop computer. He slipped the memory card into the slot, anticipation bubbling within as the images began to load. As he flipped through the pictures, he found the usual suspects. Raccoons, deer, an occasional bobcat, which was cool. But then, the images took a turn for the unusual. An enormous figure, bipedal, covered in thick hair, appeared on the screen. It was muscular and broad-shouldered, with long arms and an almost human-like stature. Earl leaned in closer, eyes wide with disbelief. This was no ordinary creature. This was something else something he'd only ever heard about in hushed, half-joking conversations at the local bar. Could it be the skunk ape, Florida's very own version of Bigfoot? The final image was the clearest. The creature stared directly into the camera, its eyes reflecting an intelligent gleam. It almost seemed as if it was aware of the camera, hence its skewing. The realization struck Earl like a lightning bolt. He was the first to capture undeniable photographic evidence of the skunk ape. Earl couldn't keep this discovery to himself. He rushed into town, sharing his findings with anyone who would listen. He was met with skepticism. People dismissing Earl as a tall tale teller finally succumbing to his own stories. But the local newspaper picked up the story, and soon word spread. Experts from around the state poured into Brooksville, all wanting a glimpse at Earl's photos. Some were skeptical, suggesting the image could be an unusually large bear or a clever hoax. However, others couldn't dismiss the clear humanoid features and the uncanny intelligence in the creature's eyes. Finally, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission got involved. After weeks of analysis, they couldn't deny the figure's resemblance to the descriptions of the mythical skunk ape. Though they couldn't conclusively identify the creature, they acknowledged the photos were indeed authentic and hadn't been tampered with. While not a definitive proof, Earl's photos sparked new interest and belief in the skunk ape. Though the doubters remained, Earl was content. He knew what he saw, knew what he had. His tale had a new chapter, one of discovery and wonder, and it was breathing new life into the legend of the Floridian skunk ape. Switching gears a little bit, this upcoming one is so creepy that I actually wish it was CGI. I wish this was fake. 
This clip was shared on the Facebook group Weird, Fantastic, and Odd Things by a user named Max Jack. A resident in Thailand came across this odd-looking snake and took it under their care. And this thing appears to be covered in a green fur. I mean, what is this? Some people have put forward the idea that it could be a form of algae growing on the reptile's skin, but I don't know. The man said he kept it alive by feeding it fish. He also said he plans to turn this peculiar snake over to authorities for study and identification. So for now, we can only watch this clip of this mysterious creature. I first featured this exact clip in one of my earliest videos, and the quality left much to be desired. Recently I rediscovered it with significantly improved clarity, and I had to show it to you guys. So let's take a trip down to Mississippi to revisit this intriguing footage from 2015. The video captures a cryptic, ape-like entity attentively digging in this tree trunk. We're not sure what it's doing, but whatever's in there has this guy's attention. Oblivious to the nearby human, the man stealthily films the creature, and I'd reckon he goes unnoticed because of its intense focus on his task. If you frequented my channel, you'll know my standard advice when coming face to face with such peculiar beings. Maintain a safe distance. Their capabilities are unpredictable. Unfortunately, this man teeters dangerously close to a potentially dire outcome. At first, the creature's size may not strike you as extraordinary. However, the true scale is revealed when the creature, initially sitting, rises to its full formidable height. It's at this moment that it spots the man recording the scene, and immediately starts to give chase. While we lose sight of the creature, we can hear the footsteps ringing through the air. How the man escaped unscathed, and with the video still remains a puzzle. What's your take? Are we looking at a genuine Bigfoot here? Or perhaps a gorilla? Or a skunk ape? Could this entire encounter be an intricately designed hoax? Let me know what you think. Well, 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 what do we have here? For you non-believers of the paranormal world, this video might just sway your opinion. Originally installed deep in the forest to observe animal behavior, a trail camera surprisingly recorded a man casually strolling through this remote area. Upon closer inspection, a well-used path can be observed, indicating frequent human activity despite the isolated nature of this location. The main peculiarity here, though, is the time when the footage was captured, late into the night. Of course, a time generally considered risky for such a secluded place. This area is filled with unpredictable wildlife and even some mighty sketchy dangerous individuals. Unfazed by these potential hazards, the young man in the clip confidently walks into frame. But only a few seconds later, we're shocked when he's suddenly attacked by an unidentified figure. I must clarify, this might not be a human, but a form that can't be clearly made out for sure. The attacker doesn't look human, its blurry form standing in stark contrast to the clearly visible man. If it was a human, wouldn't it show up on camera just like this guy? Could it be that a ghost shoved him to the ground? While we're left struggling to determine the exact identity of this attacker, one fact remains unquestionable. The footage has not been manipulated. Are we witnessing a ghostly entity or some other supernatural being? Or maybe you have a more rational explanation for this incident. Please share your thoughts. I'm very interested. 